This Let's Play was supported by these awesome hobby companies. Hello everybody and welcome to Let's Play Joan of Arc. I am joined by Leo and today we are doing something a little bit different. So, what you'll have seen before is we've done a lot of uh, scenarios, so historical, fantastical scenarios. Today we're playing battle mode, so this is a bit more competitive, a little more hard-edged for this game because we're actually playing with points. So uh, whenever you come to it, Leo, there is a very specific order in which you're doing things to actually get to the table. So do you want to quickly take us through yes, that order? Yes, yes, yes. Real quick, because you can see that, uh, you know, if you go to our website, uh, mythicgames.net, you can have like the, the battle mode uh, PDF where you have everything explained. But just just to sum it, sum yeah. it up, uh, what you do, you, you first have to choose uh, what kind of battle you want to do. You want to do uh, historical or fantasy. What did we choose? Fantasy. So, <laughs> and then you choose the size of the battle. We chose a mid-sized battle, so that's uh, 2,500 points. Mm -hmm. uh, then, based on that, you choose the era you want to play. Uh, because it was fantasy, it doesn't matter, you mm -hmm. know, but uh, in some cases for historical, you would have to choose whether you play uh, in the early Hundred Years' War mm -hmm. or in the late Hundred Years' War. Of course. So here, it doesn't matter because yeah. we chose to play a holy and unholy army. Of course. of course, we are a beast of war, so we had to play a beast and it had to be Justin, of course. <laughs> Of course. <laughs> well, I mean, like, uh, whenever we came to it, I did say, I want to play the unholy faction. <laughs> Trust me, if I have the right curry, it's unholy. <laughs> uh, right. So, so once you've done that, uh, the, the, the funny thing is that you have to create your army with points that mm -hmm. you have to, to spend. Uh, some units you have to take are mandatory. Mm -hmm. Some you don't have to take them, but you have a maximum number of units you can get yes. uh, so that it's balanced enough. Yes. And the funny thing is that you don't know what the victory conditions are before you start. Mm -hmm. That means you can't really make a, a, an all-out army or a defensive yeah. army because you don't know yeah, whether you're, you're going to... blind. Yes. So usually you try to, to create a balanced army mm -hmm. and then you see what happens. Yeah. So uh, normally once you have decided uh, and you have created your army, you spend your points in your uh, units. And mm -hmm. then if you have any lift leftovers, you can buy some resources. Mm -hmm. And I think you had some. I, I just have uh, one token and one card, uh, legend card. We already take took them. Yeah, and, and just to run over very quickly through the points of those. So a regular order is 80 points. A charge order is 120. A uh, interrupt is 150. A replay is 150. For one of the legend tokens, it's 30. For one of the experience tokens, it's 50. And for one of the cards, it's 40. So what did you have uh, left? Uh, I actually had quite a bit left. So the way I've run my forces, I've got the beast. He's big, he's brash, he's there. I've then grabbed some voracious demons, some plague bearers, some flying demons, and a good chunk of skeletons. But that left me with a nice chunk of points left over. So what I actually bought was three of the legend tokens, one of the cards, and then I bought a regular order and a reactivation order because I have a cunning plan for my first activation. So I'm going to see if this has worked. So off camera, we have already decided who was going to be first player. Mm -hmm. We flipped the coin yep, and I was first player. Leo. So I got the token. Yeah. Uh, so I got to choose the map mm -hmm. and, uh, because, and I have to deploy first, which is not necessarily uh, uh, an advantage because mm -hmm. uh, since I will deploy first, you will then uh, know where I am when you deploy. Yeah, and on the map we each have four hexes we're allowed to deploy on. So I'm starting from here with my rally point, then here, then here, then here. Yes, we have put these little tokens to show where our deployment areas are. Mine are here, 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 and here. So yeah. these are uh, deployment hexes, not just... Uh, yeah, and uh, for Leo, he's actually been kind of sneaky. Because I'm actually running the beast, which is a huge, huge monster, it can only get into an empty hex. So I this is why I chose I chose this uh, this side. Mm -hmm. I'm first player. I get to choose uh, the map. I get to choose where I deploy, mm -hmm. and I have to deploy first. Yeah. And then uh, now there is one other thing we need to decide before we actually start deploying, and that's the type of game we're going to play. Yes. Normally that is controlled by this doom dice, uh, which is right here. So you would roll it to see what you're getting. And that tells you what you're going to do. What we're doing is the Death's Head, which is an annihilation mission. So yeah. we get points for killing each other off. But the, the different ones you could, you could have would, would be King of the Hill, mm -hmm. which means you have to control 
uh, this hex and you score points when you when you control this hex. Mm -hmm. uh, you have annihilation, which means you need to to destroy more value points uh, than your opponents, and this will count uh, as the at the end. Yeah, that makes me a little nervous because I've got all my nuts in one basket. Yeah. I know. <laughs> yeah, he's worth how many points does he have? Uh, Eleven hundred and ten. Oh, ho, 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 that's tempting, but he's big and mean. Yeah, so yeah. We'll see. Uh, the other things, uh, kind of sorts of scenarios you can have are. Um, uh, where you control, uh, you have to, to put, uh, I don't remember the name for those, you have to put different uh, uh, units in, in, in the areas. Yeah, so it's, it's a spread out control game yeah. where the more areas you control with your miniatures, the more points you will generate at the end of each and every turn. Occupation, yes, yes, yes. occupation, that yes. was the name. And the last one is assassination, where you pick a character from your opponent's you know, force, and your goal is to murder that. I kind of yeah. wish we were playing that just because I've got a big tough guy. And I would have had to choose between my Archangel and my Griffin, which are my two uh, characters for this mm -hmm. game. I would probably have chosen the uh, my Archangel who has six uh, hit points. Uh -huh. And you... 14. 14, so 14. It's that a would monster. have been... It's a beast. Unfortunately, because I'm playing the unholy side, Leo's going to be getting some bonuses with some of his stuff because yes. they like fighting the unholy side. Yes, I got right. bonus in my attacks against uh, unholy. Mm -hmm. uh, the last thing we have to tell, just to remind people, is uh, the morale value. So, mm -hmm. of course, at the end of the game, if uh, I have uh, destroyed more point uh, value mm -hmm. than you have, I win the game. Yes. And same for you. If you have destroyed more than I, than I have, you win. Mm -hmm. But there's always, in any uh, battle mode game, uh, there's always uh, a, another, an alternate victory condition, which is morale, which yes. is routing. So the way it works, each, each of our units yes. uh, are worth uh, one, two, or three points of morale. Mm -hmm. So if it's a three base, uh, multi-base unit, like with three uh, fighters, yes. it's worth one point. Mm -hmm. If it's uh, a two, base so yeah my demons your demons they are worth two points mm -hmm. and if it's a single mini on uh, on a base like this one mm -hmm. it's worth three points of morale mm -hmm. so when you lose them it's more affecting because they are stronger they're usually strong characters uh, the big so the big minis uh, which have the big trait like mm -hmm. the griffin yeah. or the tarasque or some others are worth five points mm -hmm. and finally the gigantic creatures oh. like this one <laughs> is worth 10 points uh, so all in total i think uh 22 we, for me i think i have 22 as well awesome nice and even so when you get when you lose two-thirds of your morale you rout mm -hmm. which means we can lose 15 Yes. points and so we have them then here yeah. with our uh, tokens once we if if we lose them before the end of the game the game is over mm -hmm. and the first uh, who has lost uh, his morale lose, yeah. loses the game yeah this is kind of a, a nice thing for a, a murder fast game like this where it's not i have to stay here till everything's dead it's if i hit a certain threshold my guys are going to look at it and go you know what we're not liking it today we're out there's something with you. You have some immortal. Uh... I do. I have two immortal units. So my flying demons and my skeletons are both immortal. This is actually super good for me because when they die, they will go out to the infirmary and I will lose that point of morale. But if they rally, I get it back. That's exactly it. Mm -hmm. Of course, at the end of the, of the game, if they haven't rallied, the count is... Uh, yes, as destroyed. Destroyed. All right. Okay. Last thing we need to do before we start playing is we have some civilians. So on the board... Oh, yeah, we you're have right. One, two, three civilian tokens. Yes. And uh, we actually have to use this here. These cards the and to determine them uh, uh, at random. So each yes. map you get uh, on the, map, the battle mode will tell you how many... Uh, civilians you have on this map and where they will appear on this map. But it doesn't tell you which civilians. It has to be uh, taken randomly. All right. Uh, give me a number between one and six. 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 Okay. So we will get... Here. Yep. The merchant girl. The merchant will girl going, will be here. We'll so be here. we put he, uh, her here I'll and leave we'll leave... I'll the card there for now just so folks can see. Oh, yeah. Okay. So she's going up there. All right. Between one and five. Three. Three. One, two, three. So we will have here the apothecary. The apothecary. Oh, I see. Yeah, he's here. Uh -huh. Oh, and I actually missed out on the Sith there. Apologies. Oh. So between <laughs> one and five. One. One. That will be ah, the bone setter. Oh, the bone setter. 
So each of these characters is going to give us a special ability because if we move into their hacks, into their space, they will join us. Yes. I'm kind of glad the priest isn't there because you've got no healing. And it's interesting to tell what they do. So the merchant girl will give you one uh, uh, intrigue point. point. An intrigue point can be... Uh, experience or used yes. as one of the legend yeah, You points. can replace it with uh, either experience or legend. Yep. So it's very, very interesting. Mm -hmm. The apothecary, he's got heal. Mm -hmm. So he could heal your bees. He could heal Ooh. my angels. Uh, oh, so well, there is some healing on yeah. the board. Or my, my griffin, uh -huh. so he's very interesting as well. Uh -huh. And if you discard one legend card, mm -hmm. you gain one experience or one uh, legend, point. legend point, or uh -huh. you can draw one legend card. So he's pretty yeah. good as well. And the last one, the bone setter, who's way down here, is during the camp phase, re-roll once the doom dice oh. for two allied disrupted units. Oh. So there are two allied disrupted units that you can re-roll for once. I kind of want that. <laughs> Alright, so let's put our yes, civilian so cards down now, the front of the yeah, board here. In front of the board. We don't need the other civilians. No, we do not. And I'll put their cards out of the way. And yes. And so they're see. both interesting for, for this scenario. Yes. Okay, so deployment for you, sir. Alright. Let me deploy. Mm -hmm. Now, do you deploy everything or is it unit? I unit? deploy everything. Ah. And then you. So after I've deployed, uh, we will take away the, uh, the deployment tokens. Mm -hmm. uh, the good thing is that you only have one space where you can put your uh, gigantic yeah. creature. Nice. So I know it's here. And this is going to be, even though it's big and frightening, this is going to be my, my focus. So oh, I will try and, and get you, because I'm first player. Mm -hmm. I hope we'll have enough. Uh, yeah, it still depends on the flip of the card as to what activations you get. Yes, uh, yeah, you know also, we forgot to tell, but you know uh, the rounds, mm -hmm. round cards you'll have depending on the battle. Yes. So do you seven. remember? We have seven. Seven for this one, yeah. We have two threes, uh, three fours, and mm -hmm. uh, two fives or two something, five, something, or something like, like that. that. Yeah. I, I, but I yeah, we have uh, three, to four, three to five. Yeah, three through five. So I think it's I can two tell threes, it. three fours. And two fives. If two I threes, two fours, and three fives. Oh, three fives. Okay, yeah. so we'll have one or two big swing rounds if we get lucky here. So the minimum is three. So I need to deploy somewhere here if I want to reach uh, your beast. Mm -hmm. And my angel and my griffin uh, have jumped two. So that means they will go. Uh, ah, the speedy. Yeah. So I will have. I will put my archangel Michael here mm -hmm. plus my three angels. Ooh. So that's a tough, tough, tough unit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is so I can't have more than four because we are in a third uh, space area, mm -hmm. third hex area. Mm -hmm. um, so one, two, three, four. I only need two activations to get here. And yeah. then with my third activation, I can attack you uh, on melee. Mm -hmm. Then I want to use my to use my Griffin. Mm. So what I'll do is put him here. So he takes three space, which means I need I have only one space left mm -hmm. uh, in this area. Yeah. And what I will do is put uh, the penitence. And you will understand why later. Well, okay. I can tell you. The penitence, once per turn, if you discard one legend card, oh. have a legend card, you gain one activation. <laughs> Useful. So, <laughs> so I kind of need to. Well, actually, there's none of the civilians are giving us card draw, so it's really down to what comes out of the war council. Yeah. Where do you next? Then um, what do I do next? Uh, the flagellants uh, are better if they're next to the um, to the penitents. Mm -hmm. So wait, wait, wait. You can see the devious mind is already at work here, folks. <laughs> OK. I will put them here so that uh, I can join them. Maybe with an order, he can get closer. And then I want the ap apothecary and the merchant girl. So I'm going to put my foot knights, which are very good and strong units. I'm going to have them. I'm going to put them here. I was wondering if you would go for that. Yes. Well, yes. Uh, that means I'll be far, probably far from you. So now I can take. Yes, those away, and I yes, can deploy. Yes, those away, and now you can you can deploy. 
these are a six person space which might be useful because my thinking is at the moment you have this big nasty block here yeah it's super tough super defended i don't really want to go near it so what i think i'm going to do is i'm going to put my skeletons oh here. so they'll be battle uh, in this area as well yeah i'm ah. thinking if i can swing up here i can maybe just wrestle control of those civilians from you yeah yeah and i think your skeletons are, are good, right? They, they, they gain a bonus if they're together, right? Yes, so they gain, in a, as so long as there is one other unit of skeletons there, they gain an additional yellow. So as it stands, they've got five dice because four yellow dice are standard, plus one for being together. But if they split up into two groups of two, it would be two yellow dice plus an additional one. What do I want to do next? I kind of <laughs> want something that's going to stick with them and be a little bit of an annoyance to you. So. And the voracious demons are pretty strong. They're massive. They yeah. are pretty strong. But I think what I would rather have, and I know I'm going to get attacked, is some of the plague bears with them. And I'm going to put them with them because they ignore a disruption, oh. which could be good. Now, there's a question. That's <laughs> a frightening. So, <laughs> actually, I'm going to do it slightly differently. So uh, just a little bit of a rewind. So I'm only going to put one of those down. Yeah. The other one I'm going to put over here, because that means that effect will trigger across two different areas of the board. Oh, okay. And then I will put the voracious demons in there as well to make this super scary. Uh, then on this side, with the plague bearers, I will put my flying demons. And we know where the big one's going to go, <laughs> so I'll just gather these up. Yeah. And he will plant himself right there. Wow. So. I'm trying to be kind of sneaky sneaky with this, but we'll, we'll see what happens. I mean, like, down here, this is going to be an annoyance for the griffin, I think. This is big enough to actually just crush what's up here and then maybe sweep back down on you, unless you start chasing them with the angels. But I don't think that's going to happen, really. Well, the angels have a goal. Mm -hmm. And that yeah, starts murder, with a Murder B. the beast. Okay, I think... We all set? We yeah, ready we're ready to set. go? So let's see how many activations we get for round one. Oh, five. Oh, nice. Nice. So we each take our five regulars. I have my additional one. So I actually have six and a seventh on the reactivation. Oh. The War Council is going to start giving us stuff. <laughs> OK, so first up, we can either trade one order for three experience or three legend. We can then have move one of your rally points and rally one allied unit, or you can take a charge order, or we can trade one regular order for a reactivation order, or one order for an interrupt, or one experience for one myth. You're going first, so you have to choose Mr. Leonidas. So they are all very, very tempting. Mm -hmm. The first one would give me uh, uh, legend tokens, and whenever I I spend a legend tokens with my archangel. I can add one red mm. dice, but only one. Yes. So that would give me enough fuel <laughs> uh, for uh, you know to to boost my archangel. So that would be interesting. Mm. The second one. Uh, so the second I'll one. move one rally me. point. Yeah. Okay. I don't want to move my rally point at uh, at this at this point. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, but you, you can gain a, a charge token, and and my Griffin can charge. Even he p can perform a charge from a sky hex. Ooh, so that's, that's interesting. interesting. Um, so you could go dive bombing. Yes. Uh, and then the last one I could trade, and we have five, so that's good. I could trade for either, to me, a reactivation or uh, an interrupt. Mm -hmm. I think this is what I'm going to do because uh, I want to attack your, your angel as much as I can. And I know the, the big force will be with the angel. So I will trade one of my uh, banners, uh, activation banners, and, ha and take a reactivation banners. OK, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to grab an interrupt because it could save me just a little bit here. Oh, you have to trade it. Uh, yes, I do. <laughs> okay. So I'm still looking pretty okay. Yes. Okay. So we ready? Uh, yeah, I believe so. After you, Leo. Okay. Well, I can't prevent you from interrupting. So I will start my activation with my Griffin. Uh -huh. So my Griffin will move um, 
one, two mm -hmm. here. And the other uh, guys that were in the same zone, are they moving? No, they will stay here, but I will use the once per turn. If you discard one card, you gain one uh, activation. So I will discard this mm -hmm. this card. And gain one of these? Yes, and gain one of these. Uh, but uh, yeah, they could move here to join their friends. Yeah, that could be interesting. Mm -hmm. Or no, because I'm interested in the in the bone setter. So no, they won't move. Okay. Do you want to interrupt Mr. Justin? No, I'm good. I have a cunning plan for when I'm going to interrupt, and I want to see if it works, because I think I can make you spend more than you need to if I interrupt at the right moment. Do you have any ranged attack with these guys? I don't no, think you do. No, my only ranged attack is in the beast. And it's, yeah, it's two areas, so two hexes. Yes, so... One, two, But it's one, direct, two. right? Direct. Yes, it's not Yes, it's not arcing. No, no. So that means you could be stopped by, by some uh, terrain or some elements. Yes. But you have a clear view here, obviously. Yes. Okay, now uh, second activation will be with my angels. They all have jump two, mm -hmm. which means I can move two. So they'll, they'll stay on the ground. Well, they, they fly, but... Mm -hmm. Do you want to interrupt? Not yet. Wait until I see the whites of their eyes. You know what bothers me? Mm -hmm. Now you can interrupt. Mm -hmm. You could either throw a fire, or if I stay here, you can attack me with all these guys. Yeah, well, there's, there's a couple of things I'm thinking on for the interrupt. But we'll, we'll see. Because, I mean, the skeletons are pretty good. The... Uh, the Vicious Demons are great, and the other guys that I have there, my Flying Demons, are also pretty good. I can't take the risk of staying here and having you interrupt me, me with this. Mm -hmm. Your range attack, well, your, your melee attack with your Beast is, uh, is three red dice, but with these guys, what is it? It's uh, one uh, well, red. Well, for these, it would be five yellow. Six yellow, six yellow, two red, which is plus plus the the the, the plague bearers. Uh, do you have plague bearers there? Yes. All oh, right, then it's an additional white. Oh, sorry, yeah. It's then I've got that wrong. So it's five yellow, one white, one red. Four, five yellows, one red, one white. Yes. Okay, that's that's pretty good. And for with these ones, what is it? Uh, so over here, it's two yellow, two red, one white. So even that's pretty hefty. <laughs> well, okay. So it's not worth. It's not really uh, a less man, <laughs> a, a smaller menace uh, mm -hmm. than the others. Except that your your big guy, the red guys. What do they get? Oh no, it's when they are attacked. That. Uh, uh, yes. Yeah, so the vicious demons, when they're defending on a white dice, they get two white dice in defense. Uh, when they defend, any blank results inflict a kill. Okay. Which okay. I don't well, think you get to defend. No. So it, it kind of makes it a little bit nasty to try and attack in there because you might just get a swing back. Uh, also in there, uh, actually that's the only defense that's in that big block. So it's good for attacking, but it's brittle. So what I will do is try to convince you to react, maybe. So I will first put my griffin here. Uh-huh. Do you interrupt? No. Still not? Still not. <laughs> I think I can stand a swing from the Griffin because it's, it's not got a lot of dice on it. It's got some nice abilities, nothing huge. No. But it's got four points, hit points. Mm -hmm. So now I move my angels and I go there because it's a, a, a half X. So you can, I can have up to six. Oh, wait, he's big. So he's taking for three. So I can only put three angels. Oh, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. And you're leaving Michael out the way? Oh, no, no. Michael is with them. Okay. Uh, it's the last angel I'm thinking of. Uh, what could I do? One. Oh, okay. One, two. He will go there. Okay. Now I will interrupt. <laughs> <laughs> and so this is what I was talking about, Leo. So you're really worried that I'm going to attack you, right? Yes. And I could do that, 
but as it stands, you can get two attacks on my big beast. I don't like this. So my interrupt is actually going to be for him to fly. Oh. And he will fly to here. So that, yes, I don't have like a big hex. Exactly. Oh. Up into there, which means if you want to get me, you're going to have to chase me and use up more of those resources. Well, I didn't expect you to go in the air because... Uh, oh, it, you can fly too. Yes, I can fly. Well, I will use another of my... So I can attack you only once. That's, that's exactly. the good that's, that's my goal here is just to but, minimize but my damage. But when you are in the air, it, you need... Uh, I think uh, the beast uh, is clumsy in the air. Well, he, yeah, he's, he requires two orders to activate in the air. But I'm going into the air during your turn. Yeah, that's right. You can go back. You can During go down. my turn, because it's only once per turn. So it's a very clear definition, turn versus round within the game. Yeah. And I think I can, if you come up after me, I can maybe get at least one good swing at you and then come down crashing into somewhere on the ground that's really going to cause you problems. Okay, well, I have no choice because you did that than to activate my... Uh, uh, my flying, uh, my flying units here, mm -hmm. and go up in the air yes. to an adjacent area. So uh, I will choose the bigger one. Yes, yeah, you've got one, one here I, that'll do for that six. For six, yes. Thank God there was no, just four, uh, just a, a third, third uh, space mm -hmm. here. Okay, can we see them on camera? Oh, uh, they, are. they are right behind here. Yeah. He has to face them. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, okay. And with my last reactivation banner. Yeah, which you could have seen, but it's what I was fighting against there was yes. to try and get away from that. So that me, give me, gives me only one attack Yes. Uh, during this first turn, which is not at all what I was hoping for. I really thought I would have more than that. Mm -hmm. War Council saved my butt a little bit. Okay, so before I attack, mm -hmm. let's not forget uh, that the beast is a terrifying uh, creature. Yes. Terrifying creature, so you will ro roll your terror too. Yes. For each uh, push that you get, mm -hmm. you, you, ha you can choose one of my units which will not be able to attack. Mm -hmm. You can't choose, you can't choose uh, the griffin because it's big and it's so, he's immune to okay. terror. Uh, so. I got one push, so I get to stop one person attacking. Which of yours has the best attack? Honestly, I'm thinking Michael, because he can buy in extra yeah. stuff. And his base attack is three reds and one white, which could become four reds and one white. So I'll let the other stuff attack me. Well, that's my best fighter by far. Yeah, and so you have the points to pay for his bonus. So that's why I want to lock him out. OK, so in that case, I'll have The griffin rolling three dice. The griffin has faint, which means I can re-roll one of my attack dice. Ah, nice. Uh, so he's he's rolling a black, white, and yellow. Uh, and then each of my angels are rolling a red plus one white yep. plus one if I fight evil. And I, I think evil. you're evil. So, so yeah. each of them has one red plus two white. So mm -hmm. uh, I've got three angels. So that's three uh, red. No, no, no. Only two. Oh, only two angels. Because Michael's there, and I and I the other of, angel is here. Yeah. yeah. So bringing that Griffin in, it's it's kind of hurt your defenses a bit yeah. and hurt your attacking capacity. Yeah. Well, no, yeah. not really, because the the Griffin is pretty good on the attack. Yeah. So it's two red uh -huh. and two white. It's not as big as I wish I could do, because the Griffin defends with an automatic two dice. This uh -huh. is like. You see, oh, no, no. The, the oh, yes, I, I, I defend with just two automatic shields. I don't actually get to roll here. Oh, well, not, too, not too bad. Uh, oh, I should have rolled uh, the griffin separately because uh, because he can uh, he can re-roll, but, you know, I will re-roll the black and only the griffin has it, so it's, that's it's not a big... That's well, black or yellow, but I suppose the yellow's a push. Yes, the yellow is a push, so I will keep it, mm -hmm. and uh, I will use this one. Okay. I will re-roll this one. Okay, it's still a shield, mm -hmm. but his shields become push, ah, so I will replace it with push. 
Well, uh, I have my two automatic shields, so I will get rid of the two disorders. Yeah, disrupts. Yeah, disrupts, sorry. And uh, all that leaves is pushes. Yes. So you get to push me somewhere. Now, can you force me back onto the no. track from that? No, no. So if I can push you, it has to be uh, on the same level. Yes. Okay. And if if I can't push you, then it becomes uh, damage. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So it's assume, only one push. So I'm assuming I'm through to here. Yes. Okay. This is fine. Well, it didn't go at all as I was hoping. No, I'm, I'm quite happy with this. Okay. Um, I think I'm done. So I can clean now. Yep. So the first thing I'm going to do on my turn is I'm going to use one of the beast's abilities, okay? So I can spend two of these to gain myself a reactivation banner. And I now have two. Oh. This should be very good. So Well, you can't reactivate twice on the same thing, you know? Oh, I know that. But if I'm going to reactivate oh, yeah. the beast, I require two. Oh, right. That's right. That's this is why right. I'm grabbing them. This is, okay. So first, I'll pay two for the beast. And what he's going to do... Now, what is the more effective attack here? Because I can either go for his big monstrous attack against you. Yes. Or I can go for a melee attack. Or um, a ranged attack. You have, you can do all, all three. It depends on what you want to do. I have to pick one. Mm. Well, if I do the ranged attack, that is uh, four red dice attack yeah. into what's a really tough area. Whereas if I do the monstrous attack, there's a chance I might get something you can't defend. Uh, the only thing I can't defend uh, is the trample thing, yes. which forces me to move. Mm -hmm. But is it that what you really want to? Or and then if you get the kill, uh, it's it's the same as your. your oh, but it's guaranteeing four of the same thing that you're having to defend, versus oh, rolling yeah, yeah, and possibly yeah. getting yeah, a yeah, mixture. You're right. You're right. You're right. So I think I'm going to go for a monstrous attack. So the first. gigantic attack. So yes. how many areas in this hex? Two. two. So two, two. Two purple dice. That's it. And I, I like the fact that you made these dice bigger for the monstrous <laughs> attack. There's just something nice in the, the actual <laughs> tactile sense of rolling two big gigantic dice. Gigantic dice. Yeah. Oh, perfect. So it's either mm. uh, a, a trample, which yes. means all of them have to trample and they can't defend. They mm -hmm. can't defend at all. Yeah, which or moves them. You, yeah, or it's they all receive a disrupt. I think I want them all to receive a disrupt, so that you've got four disrupts there to deal with. Yeah. So okay. the way we we do this is, I assign a monstrous dice to each zone, and that effect goes across that entire zone. Yes. So I have to defend now to four disrupt. Yes. So but have this time, five black, four white. Oh. And you know, my Archangel has retaliation. Oh, interesting. So uh, that means I could, I could do something you, you, you can't even protect. So yeah. I will roll his dice separately. Uh, I have two white and uh, a black for my Archangel with retaliation. Actually, Leo, yeah. I think I'm tempted to... Uh, no, I'm not going to. I'm not going to. I was tempted to change... In fact, I should change my mind because I have that reactivation. Watch this. So if I actually flip these, if it's okay with you. Yeah. So now you've got the trample, right? So I'm yeah. going to spread you out. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the griffin here. Yes. So you use the trample result instead yes. of the... of the. Uh... Yes. And then I will push your archangel out here. And then I will These push... These two have... Your push. other one here, and your other one here. Okay. So I'm dividing your forces. Yes. And now I'm going to use my two reactivation. So that banners. means I don't roll any defense mm -hmm. because you 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 separated me. Yep. And, and now. So now, my reactivation, I'm going to do another monstrous attack into this two point area here. Oh, monstrous attack. So you're not targeting at a Michael who has retaliation. Oh, apologies. Sorry, I need to switch that around. So yeah, yeah, it's okay. I'm wanting it to go here so that Michael's not there with retaliation. And then whatever I do here, you'll only have four dice to defend with. Well, he, Michael is here. Yes. He has retaliation. So yes. if you attack me in melee, yeah. uh, I can retaliate. Exactly. So I'm attacking into here with the monstrous attack well, where it's not there. With the monstrous attack? Mm -hmm. Okay. Because it's yes. across okay. the entire hex. Okay. So it's two more dice here. Let's see what we get. 
Excellent. So the way I'll do this is you now have it's two it's, of these. Yes. Uh, so disrupt. So two disrupts. Two disrupts, but a lot less defense dice to roll. You've only got well, it's still four. Yeah, it's, it's still decent, but I have a better odd, I think, of knocking something out. Oh, yes, I've knocked one out. So one is disrupted. Unless you want to use your reroll. Because we do have a single reroll token to use through the game. Yes, the reroll. If I reroll, I have one chance out of two to roll a, a shield and then to, to remain here. Mm -hmm. Uh, well, you you would be rerolling three dice, yes. Yes, so I would be. So I think it's better because if I he, if I get here, mm -hmm. there's one chance out of three that I will die. Yeah. And even if I reroll, uh, still one chance out of three. So I think I will reroll. I will okay. use it. I mean, it's too important. My yeah. angels are important. So, I, and I hope I get a, sh a shield and then. Yeah. No. no! Good night, angel. Okay. Excellent. All right. That's that's starting to chip down that that offensive power that Leo has there. Okay. And it also means you're going to have to use more resources to recoil less your forces, which is my thinking. Okay. Well, he's not dead. He could come back, but yeah. However, he's you do lose three. Or is it when he dies? For your morale. Oh no! When he dies. When he dies, you lose it. Okay. okay I'm not immortal. <laughs> ah, so it's only for my immortals. It goes away when yes. they go into there yeah. and comes back. Yeah. I understand. Okay, uh, I still have three activations left. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend one in here. Everybody's moving up to here. Including these two? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, sorry, it's a lie. They're all going to here. I'm going the wrong way. Okay. So everybody into here. Yep. Then the next one, everybody into the next, except for one of one. them because there's a tree. A tree. So uh, I will leave the. I'll leave a set of skeletons behind. So everybody else is up in here. Yeah. And then my last one, I will move in and grab the merchant girl. Oh. Oh no. So that what is quite valuable to me, because when she activates she will start generating me entry points, which I can use for, yeah. Oh. And uh. I would have had one more move, so I will shimmy these back one, just to have them out of the way. So I've got one civilian, so I will take her card. Yes, you do. She is now under my spell for now. <laughs> you know, demons went up and said, uh, do you want to join us? You went and you're big and scary? Yeah, sure. <laughs> uh, that is my round. OK. Very good. Well, it was a better round for you than for me, mm. for sure. Uh, end of uh, the round, you have to roll for your angel. Yes. Oh, no. And this is the danger zone right here. I hate this because... <sighs> it could go wrong. Yes. Uh, uh, one chance out of three that it... And I don't have my re-roll now, so... Mm -hmm. Oh, it doesn't count. <laughs> it track. was a rally! <laughs> <laughs> oh, still, <laughs> I'm nervous. <laughs> Rally, oh, rally! Yes! Damn it. Uh, it does, however, place uh, uh, here, yes. which is completely out of cohesion, which yes, I can live with. <sighs> Come. <laughs> well, okay, I'm this, scattered, but yeah. I'm, I'm not dead. And, yeah. and you have a, a civilian, yeah, so this, you still this, have a little edge. This looks good. Okay, so I'll start tidying up here. Uh, da, 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 da. I think that's everything. Oh. Anything wrong? Yeah, Justin, look. <laughs> oh, what have I done? Uh, there are seven uh, seven units in ah. this area because of the tree. So uh, you should have you couldn't have entered. You should have behind. Them. Yeah, you should have left a skeleton behind. So this is okay. Yeah. All right. So I will put all my banners here. Or maybe right. because you activated them here, maybe you didn't leave. Maybe you wanted them to go here, or um, do you want to stay? If, if or you okay. could you could uh, you could move them here. Oh, I'm not advancing there. <laughs> you do I, as you I, want. If you're okay, I will shimmy them back one. Yeah, that that's fine. That's totally fine. Yeah. Uh, okay. Hmm. So you're a bit more scattered. Yeah, just uh -huh. a little bit, but that's that's fine. This is <laughs> this is fine. I I have everything under control. I think. <laughs> kind of, sort of, maybe. Yeah. Uh, right. We need to flip to actually yeah. see what we're getting activation-wise. Three this time. Three. Uh huh. One, two. 
and three. Less three is three. not a lot. No, it is. It is not, especially for what we're trying to control. This is one of the nice balances to the game is you're really managing that resource of how many orders you can give out. Uh, then we have the War Council, so we can take an extra order. We can gain two of the cards and a legend token and discard one of the cards. Or lastly, we can trade a regular order for a charge order. I'm not going to take the activation order, but I'm going to take the gain two cards uh, uh -huh. and one legend token and yes. discard one, one card. So there's one. Because one I have two. a plan. Is it as cunning as a fox? <laughs> so, oh, get this one. I will discard this one. Okay, I'll just put it right here out of the way. Okay, for myself, I'm actually going to take the, the extra regular order. Of course. Because I think it could be useful. Because the beast is in the air, he's big, he's slow, I need him to do something. Okay, so no interruption this time. So No interruptions this time, so you don't need to ask. You can just rock on and have some fun. Well, actually, I shouldn't even have read my card because I'm probably going to discard it ah. just to have my angel go back here. And because the penitent is here, mm -hmm. once per turn, I could discard one card and gain one. So that means ah. I have one extra activation thanks to this card I picked. You know? ah, I and so not only do I bring my angel back, but I gain one activation thanks to that. You see? Yeah. I have to focus on your, on your beast. There's mm -hmm. no, no way. I can do. So I have three orders. One angel could go here, another angel two, and then I could do one attack. I think that's the only thing I can really do. Mm -hmm. So I will first, and you don't have any interrupt, no, so no. I will use this. Yep. Uh, so I activate this angel and he goes up in the air here. In uh -huh. this. Up with Michael and the, the griffin? Yes. Uh -huh. uh, the penitent. Mm -hmm. uh, he could, he could move here. So, yeah, I could maybe get the uh, the, the bone setter eventually. That could be quite useful for you, to be honest. But the thing is that he's single and he could be destroyed pretty easily. Mm -hmm. And because he's been activated once per turn, I can discard this ca this card. Uh huh. And gain a regular action. Yeah. There you go, sir. It was too good a card, but I want this uh, activation. Mm -hmm. So who's next? This angel. Okay. He will move one, two. Uh huh. Now I have two actions, so I could attack you, and I still have one action left. Uh huh. Or you actually do have space for the other angel now, because you're in the big space. Oh yes, that's a good thing. You're right. So well, thank you for telling. So well, it's it's fair play. It's fair play. Yes, I appreciate. So I will use this and mm -hmm. uh, have the air, uh, the angel come up. Mm -hmm. And finally, I will do attack. my big, big attack, the one I always wanted. OK, now, Paradise to see what I can knock out here. Uh, yes. Uh, one. No so, Michael. No Michael. <laughs> no, 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 Michael. Do no Michael. I'm lying here doing empty hammer time. Can't touch this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, three so. red, three white, and then oh, a more separate. than three. Well, more than three white. Ah, uh, yes, actually, it's six white, and then a white, yellow, and black rolled separately. That's it. Because of his reroll. I roll get? first for the the Griffin. The Griffin. Yeah. Uh, push and a shield. Um, I will reroll the shield. Okay. Okay, Ooh, disrupt. so I have a disrupt and a push, uh -huh. right? This is nothing. And then everything else. This is going to hurt, folks. Mm, you could have been worse, but it's still going to hurt. Yeah, so I'll, I'll take away two of the disrupts. So that's five disrupt and two push. So yep. these are going away. Yep. So you I... take three wounds uh -huh. and you get one push. Yes, where would you like to push me? I, I I'll assume no just across the way? Yes. I'll just move your yeah. banner out the way now. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to spend one of my super valuable things here for an activation here. Everybody's going to move back. And because I activated the merchant girl, oh yeah, 
I will gain an one intrigue. of her tokens. So an intrigue token, yeah. or uh, or you could well you could have. Well, uh, I, I will. You want to you want to trade I'll just, when you need it. I'll grab one of these as it is, so that I just I know it's something different. Yeah. And from there, I will activate the beast in the sky for two, and he is going to fly to land. Where does he land? Right here. Or you could do an, a gigantic attack here, but if you miss it, exactly. then you can't then I'm land. Stuck. So my thinking is, if I land, I'm forcing you to use the uh, the activations to do it. Then for my last regular one, yes, I will attack into here. How do you attack? I think I'm going to use my ranged attack, which is three red dice, because there are three units in there. So we'll see how this goes. Is this fire? Your yes. ranged attack? Yes. Do you want to put a fire token there? Yes. So And the roll in here is pretty good as well, because I've got a kill and two of the Disorder or disrupt, isn't it? I keep getting those mixed up. Disorder and disrupt. <laughs> yeah. Oh. So you can defend. I can defend. Three so black dice. Three black dice, which is not bad. Mm -hmm. Oh! <laughs> Ooh. Three shields, but the fire is here. Yes. Which means at the end of the round. Yes. And because you're player number two. This is even better because I don't have any opportunity to leave. Exactly. At the end of the turn, I will get the fire damage as well. Mm -hmm. And I'm not going to spend those points. I had thought of reactivating, but I think I can leave it. I don't need to take another swing here because the fire is going to get a freebie. So I will, I think, end my round at that. So you can take your banners? Yeah, I'll tidy up. Not many. I only got four Toto there, but that's OK. So. We are at the uh, the last round uh, phase of the, of the round. So yep. first, do we have any anything here? Nobody uh, here to roll for. No. So then it's fire. So it's three fire, reds. and I, I I don't I can't defend there. Yeah. So it's just three reds, and what happens happens because yeah. your ass is burning. Oh, oh my God! So oh, two die. Fire burns. Oh, wow. and one of them is going to the hospital here. So two dies. Yeah, and well, that'll you know, be death is supposed two morale. to be here or yeah. This this is death. Yeah, death is at the, the very back. Okay. And um, then one is going here, right? Yes. Oh Ooh. wow. So no. yeah. Do you, you know, get to roll for him now or does he just sit there? No, it's uh it's I think it's after the f the, 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 the after the rally. After rally, yes. Uh, let me just double check, but of I'm course. pretty sure it's uh you see, uh, camp phase, casualties plus check. So, uh -huh. and then fire damage and game and victory check. So Sweetness. it's after, so he's uh, is there. Two morale. These are my elite units and you burn them. Yes, fire good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, new round then. Let's see how many activations we're getting. Three again. Okay, so. <laughs> the deck's being a little bit stingy. But yeah, but then the the fives, we've got two more fives coming and two fours, right? Yeah, and then new War Council cards, now that you can see them without uh, the big beasties in the way. Uh, so we first off get, you can trade an order for a reactivation, an interrupt, or you can trade an XP for a legend point. You can gain two XP or two legend, and the last one, is trading legend points. You can trade two for a regular order and three for a specialist order. Okay, I will trade, um, I want to focus on this on these beasts. Mm. This, I'm just, so I will trade one, uh, one black for one reactivation. Re reactivation. Mm -hmm. huh. I will trade one for an interrupt. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so yeah. what would you like to do? You'll you'll always have your interrupt, so I I can plan on what you want to do. The, so the, the question will, is, what will I do with it? So I will, yeah, I will activate them. Uh -huh. So I can only have five yes. here, and the the Griffin counts for yes. So I will, and then there's fire uh, here, so I don't want to go for one, yeah. 
Yeah, it counts for one, so okay. that's three here. Oh, okay. And and then an angel, an angel. So I have uh -huh. to scatter. You know, uh -huh. it's not as good as uh, in the sky. And these two guys, I will be put them in a separate uh, hex. So yes, you 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 will split. Or I could put them here. Ah, you could, and take the apothecary. Yes. And or you will. could completely split them up, split them up, and grab both. Yeah, well, that's true. And you have people in the. The hospital, so it should be very well. Oh, who is the one who can uh, make me? Uh, oh, yeah. Down the front here. Oh, that was a good piece of advice. Yes. So, well, of course, it's risky because I leave one, uh, one angel, but. And I do have my interrupt coming. Yeah, but during camp phase, re roll once the Doom dies for two allied disrupted units. This is very useful. Yeah, so, super powerful, especially so, in a game like this. So I, that means I recruit the Bone Setter and I recruit the Apothecary. Uh huh. So okay. I will give, I will put them a blue base mm -hmm. and I get their cards. Okay, so yes, do you want to interrupt? Please. <laughs> what are you going to do? I'm going to do, see I could monstrous attack into there, but Michael's there. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to interrupt and I'm going to do a ranged attack into here for three red dice, but I am going to put fire down. Oh. I hate fire. Because oh, that way yeah. you either have to spend one to move or accept that something's happening to your folks. So, three red dice. So, where, where were they? They were here? So uh, it's yes, it was this okay. one. Okay. And I'm putting this specifically into yes. okay. this one with them. So, this yeah. is your last fire token. It is, but I think it's a valuable one. And I still get to roll three red dice. Oh, oh yes. my god! This is gorgeous. So, I've got two disrupt and one kill. Wow! But you do have a good amount of defenses there. Yes. So you've got two white, two black, another two white, another two black. So it's th three of each. Yes. Uh, and my retaliation will not work because it's a ranged. ranged attack. Four white. Yep. And three black. And three blacks. You should be able to defend this pretty easily. Uh, I've got three shields. Three shields? Then you are absolutely fine. But? The fire is still there and you only have a couple of orders left. So it's either go back and hit me or accept some pain. Oh no, I'm not going to stay here with the fire. <laughs> it would be crazy. Yeah. Oh, well, I have spent, yeah. No, no, I, I have you only, only spent one to, to come yeah. down from here to here. So you oh, still yeah, have your yeah. others. I could still attack you and then leave. Yeah. But I can't go back in the sky, you know? No. Because uh, once per turn only. No. Oh, but if I attack, I'm stuck here. Oh, no, no, I have the replay. Exactly, the replay Oof. is what's okay. going to save yes. your... Yes. It's going to pull your butt out the fire. Yeah. So I'll, I'll, I'll attack first, but... Okay. Uh, so, yes. Oh, except if I wanted to attack you just... You by, can attack uh, with range with just Michael. With just Michael, and if I spend one, that would be three red, but that's not enough. No, I, I'll, I'll try. No. Assume terror doesn't work on ranged attacks then. No, terror doesn't work on ranged okay, attacks. For melee, I got a oh. push. No Michael. Oh my god! When will you miss these, <laughs> this roll? <role? laughs> Michael is too sensitive. <laughs> terror one is good. Terror two just really ups those odds. So All you've right. got Angel and Griffin. So it's. Uh, Two yellow, a red, and then a yellow, white, black, with the reroll on those three. And don't forget, is it on your attack your shields become pushes? Yes, when attacking. Okay. So, oh yeah, so I need to, re to, to, to roll this separately for yes. the griffin. Uh, so shield becomes a push. But I can reroll, I have two push, which is pretty good. Well, two disrupt. Two yeah. disrupt, sorry. Uh-huh. Oh, three, oh, three disrupt. disrupt. Oh. Okay, so I am taking one point of damage from that. Yes, and now? So I'm on 10. And now everything is without I, defense. Yes, yes, because the, it's all simultaneous. So whatever your angel does is going to hit me. So it's a one red, two white. For each. Oh, no, I'll just, oh, no. You no, only no. got the one. <laughs> I forgot that I've split my angels. Yeah. Ooh, damage and a push. So I will take the point of damage, now on nine, and where are you pushing me to? 
No, <laughs> into the fire, please. <laughs> oh, I could push you to the fire. <laughs> I'm certainly not pushing you on my... Uh, no, no, no. So I have to push you as far as possible, so I'm pushing you on the fire. <laughs> I thought so the might. fire is still here, but you're fireproof, aren't you? Yes, I'm fireproof. But it does kind of just put me in a an awkward sort of position. So how many hit points have you lost? Uh, five toto. Yes. How many left do you have? Nine. OK. Well, a long way still. Mm -hmm. But uh, we're getting there. Mm -hmm. And eventually, Michael will attack. <laughs> uh, so I will do my reactivation, because I'd, I absolutely don't want to be on the fire. Uh huh. And I assume, are you moving away or moving after me? No, no, I'm moving away, of course. <laughs> I will do one, two, and we'll uh -huh. go. They will all go here. OK. And the fire will remain here. Mm -hmm. Oh, you will still have to, to roll for damage and see if this is destroyed. Yes. And, and I think I'm done. The beast will activate and go for a monstrous attack into here, where <laughs> your angel and the, the apothecary. apothecary are. So oh, you know, three zones. Once per turn, if you discard one legend card, I could have gained one experience or mm -hmm. or drawn afresh. Yeah, something to remember. But I'm attacking into a three zone hex, so I get three dice, which is pretty good Ooh. odds here. Nice. Mm. So that's exactly what I wanted. So the way I'm going to do this. How do you allocate them? So that's getting that. Yeah. They're getting push through to here, and that's getting that. So this tree goes is, away. Yes, it does. They are forced into here. Well, the you, oh yeah. From trample. They have to move, right? Yep. And who chooses where they go? I think it, it acts like a normal push, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Yep. And then the last one is also the disrupt, but that doesn't matter. Well, you could have moved them away from this if you wanted to, to take position to follow up. Oh, no, this, this is exactly where I want them. Oh, yes. Because I have oh, yeah. <laughs> this big block of gear here. Oh, OK, you attack. want them to be attacked. OK. Yep. So, and then right. I'm going to pay my two to gather my replay banner. Oh. And so here, everything's going to attack into there. So I have two skeletons. Uh, so they are two yellows plus one for having friendlies there. I've then got my voracious demon, uh, which is one red die. And then I've got my uh, plague bearers uh, who have one white die. That's not a bad wee handful to throw at you. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> Do you have any reroll or any special effects with uh, your skeletons or your voracious demons? Uh, so no. when defending, uh, the special effect is already in there, which is the yellow die. And the other one is when defending. So nothing. OK, so you have one disrupt and two push. Yes. And so you'll have your two black dice to defend, and I think one for the apothecary who gets a white die. Yeah, that's now, do I, Before you roll, do I want to re-roll any of that? I don't think so. You still so have actually, your re-roll. Actually, I will re-roll. I'm going to spend it. Oh, and really? What I'm going to re-roll is one of the pushes. You can, you can re-roll uh, all of the dice you want. Yeah. Yeah, but I'll keep the disrupt in one push. And then I'm hoping the red does better. Yes, oh, yeah. much better. So now it's three disrupt and one push. Oh, Which means something is definitely happening. Oh, night. So that's okay. So disruption. Yeah. both are disrupted. Yeah, and they go straight to the infirmary. Because was it a melee attack? You could you could take What's position here. You could follow up if you wanted. Uh, I think I'm okay. And you because know what? following means that mm. you could activate them again if want if you wanted. Yeah. but. I think what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to save that replay action for later. For later, because it was really just hedging my bets this time yeah. to see if I needed to do anything else. So let me check here. So yes, I bought an interrupt, which I used. And then I bought that. So everything is correct. And this is where I'm at. So rolling then for the doom. The doom dice. But I've got the bone setter. 
Ah, uh, yes. The bone setter during camp phase, and we are at camp phase, yep. reroll once the doom dice for two allied disrupted yep. units. First, oh no, sorry, second I will roll to see if I damage that building. This will be after, yes. after this. So, so who are we rolling for? Uh, the apothecary. Apothecary is dead. But I can reroll. Do you want to? I want to. Are you sure you don't want to save that reroll for your other two units that are worth VP? Uh, yes, you're right. Do I let him die? Or do I roll for him? I should, I should have rolled them first, you know? Uh, I'll kill him. <laughs> okay, you let him die. Wah, let wah, him wah. die. Dead. Okay, now for the angel. Okay. Oh, come on. Come on, come on. Rally. Dead. He's dead. Re so I will re-roll. But I can only re-roll once. Yes. He rallies. Ah, oh, thank you, Boon Setter. Thank you, Boon Setter. Back onto the field. And now and the last one. Uh, oh, I can still re-roll if necessary. Yes. And it's, it's necessary. And it's necessary because he would be dead. Yeah. Now. And what does the re-roll give? He rallies. rallies. Excellent. Well, the Boon Setter was very useful. Yeah, I'm going to have to get that off you. <laughs> okay, uh, and now we do fire damage. So yes. the beast receives no damage. Yeah, and I roll a red to see if I do damage the Turian. Uh, nope. Shield, nothing. Okay, uh, let's see what we're getting for this round. And, and I'm pretty glad you've spent your two fire tokens, so that won't happen again. Mm -hmm. So five. Five, oh. This is going to be a big round then. Yes. And then we get our fresh war council. So uh, we can remove a wound or take a charge. Remove a wound or take a charge. Oh, so this you have to replace this one. You, ah. you have to discard, yes. OK. Because uh, you can't get three of the legend points or get a replay. Now, you can't replay a replay. No. Mm -hmm. You can only replay once. I mean, yeah, that's. Yeah. Replay can, can be played in any mm. uh, area where you have one banner, but yeah. only once. I'll take the replay. So just a replay banner? Yeah. Okay. Uh, for myself, now I could take the replay banner, but here's the thing. With my ability, it only cost me two legend points to gain a replay. Yeah. So it's of more value for me just to take those legend points. Or you could remove one wound. One wound could make all the difference. Could make all the difference, but I think I need to be a little more aggressive right now. Well, you, you still have your legend card. I'm intrigued because you, I think, except if you bluffed, uh, it, like, it seems I, to be good. I have something useful here. It's just its use hasn't came around yet. <laughs> <laughs> Yours, sir. OK. Now, I'm f I feel good because I have six banners, mm -hmm. six activations, so I can do pretty pretty much. Mm -hmm. The and bad no thing interrupt. is, yeah, no interrupt. The bad thing is that you're really far away. I, I, I flew away, and now if I want to go back, it's, it's going to take me a long time. Mm -hmm. One, two, at least three activations to get there. Yeah. And then uh, one, I could do two attacks, which would still be good. Mm -hmm. Or. I could let you come to me and just change my mind for a little while and score victory points over there. Yeah, there's there's some tasty things here. You could go after. Do they have retaliation? Uh, so those are no. jump two and mortal two, and when attacking, blanks on the yellow dice become uh, legend points. And the the, the plague bearers? They ignore one disruption. Oh, is, and, it's, and it's why do I they have any up. defense or no defense? No defense, but they they ignore that disruption. It's kind of why I split those guys up because. If I get them together, it's just one disruption they ignore. Whereas mm. if they're apart, it's two, yeah? What I'll do is, as I, I activate here, uh -huh. so uh, Michael, the Griffin, and one angel. Mm -hmm. So Michael has uh, a command ability up to two, well, an adjacent uh, area. He can command up to two areas, mm -hmm. uh, two units. So what, I'm, what I could do is... move him here uh -huh. before you know I, it's a bonus activation so either before at mm -hmm. the beginning of your activation or yeah, at yeah. the end so I will do it at the beginning uh, oh wait 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 two no. orders is it uh, it's two yeah I have two but the thing is one two three four four five 
one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I could I could have all of them here. Okay, and that's both your orders then. Yes. Okay. And the target sink. No, I don't move her. <laughs> okay. I leave the bone setter here. Okay, so the, and the bone then, setter will become neutral. Yeah. Oh. Well, no, I'll move her here. <laughs> I move her here. Yes. I thought you might. Yes, I move her here. Uh, yes, I, I really need her. Yeah. Uh, and then um, they move move here, so he counts for three, three, uh -huh. four, five. So yes, this one is full, right? This uh, area is full. Yes, now it's full. Now it's full. Mm -hmm. So then I will attack this area. Well, I'll get two black defense, but you so, will get, oh, actually, uh, immortal, ah, no, important thing, plague bearers have terror too, just in case you want to take this back. No. Because Michael might not get to attack again. I have to deal with them anyway, so I'm yeah. used to having terror. Michael hasn't been able to attack once. <laughs> Is it going to be the same? Let's find out. Are they as terrifying? Yes, they are. No, Michael. <laughs> that is horrendous. Another good reason to split those up then is to have terror mixed in around, around all of the, the places that Leo might attack. Okay, so I won't attack with Michael. No. I will attack with the Griffin. Yeah, so... Uh, so I, I roll this yeah. first because I can re-roll. Yeah. Uh, I'm not going to re-roll. I will okay. save this. So. That's a push, what, well, two push, uh, no, two disrupt and a push. Uh -huh. And then uh, it's only my two angels, yeah, right? Yeah, so two red, four white. Yeah. Which is still, wow. Oh, not I'm very not good, but I have kill. one kill and another disrupt. So that's mm -hmm. a total of one kill, three disrupt, and one push. Yeah, so... This should be emptied, but it's important as to whether or not they're instantly killed or disrupted. Oh, did you did you cancel a push? Not yet. Uh, oh yes. So I actually cancelled one disrupt. Oh, one disrupt with the uh, plague bearer. Yeah. Automatically, and now I have to roll. And you don't disrupt any push. Uh, no. So I get two shields. So I will take away one disrupt and one kill. And one kill, leaving a disruption and a push and a push. So who gets disrupted? I. Th I think who's most useful to let get disrupted? Honestly, the plague bearers, because they only generate a white for attack. So they'll go away. And oh, you have a replay though. Mm, uh, no, just I'll let them disrupt, and you get to push someone out of your way. I almost wish you'd had another push there just to push me out of combat. Yeah. <laughs> but then well, you could have followed up. But then I could have followed up. Yeah. Followed up. So I will replay and hope I will have, I can move there then and finish you. Uh, the problem is that I can't kill these these guys. I hope you will have trouble. Uh, oh, but I can see something interesting here. Mm -hmm. You know, your. Ah, uh, yes, my rally point Your is rally here. point is here. If I occupy your rally point, you won't be able to rally, and mm -hmm. that would be a very interesting thing. So yeah. I will replay and attack these guys. This time, Michael is going to attack for the first time. <laughs> because yeah, there's no terror here. No, there is no not. No terror roll. There is not, and I will only get one black die in defense. So let's roll first for the griffin. Ooh. I will re-roll uh, the black dice. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay so I have a disrupt. And, and your shield becomes something else? Yeah, a shield becomes a push. A, a, a push. Yep. So I have one shield, uh, one push, and one disrupt. disrupt. Yeah. And then everything else. These flying demons are about to go bye-bye. So I don't even need to spend one uh, uh, token to get one red. I think it's enough. Mm -hmm. So Michael gets three red dice plus one white. And then my two, my, how many, two angels? Two so angels. that's another four red dice. Uh, nope. No, two red dice. Two red dice, four white dice. Four white dice. Mama. Oh. <laughs> Look at that. Oh. Uh, one, two, three, four. Very dead. Four kills and very dead. Well, not even gonna roll. Not dead because he's immortal. So yes. he goes to the infirmary instead. Yeah. But then I can follow up. Now, because of that, I do lose 
two victory points for Knight unless he rallies. Oh, yes, you're right. You're right. Okay. Hmm. Oh, and I still have things to do. So, yes, it was good not to focus on the beast for once mm -hmm. because now I could occupy your... You could? Uh, your rally points, so preventing you from rallying, mm -hmm. which would be uh, very, very bad. And I could even attack these guys. You could, because they're in an adjacent area. So I need desire. to know who will go uh, occupy your, your area here. Ah, uh, no. Whenever you activate, you can I can, I can what split, to do. yes. I, I can give an, an order to uh, everyone. Mm -hmm. Everyone that attacks the same thing will add all their roles, yeah. but you could and say you one, one, guy go, one go, go, go away or do something yeah. else. So this is, I'm going to split them. Okay. Um, I think I'll, ha I'll, I'll have the, uh, the griffin uh -huh. go, go here. One, okay. two, three, four. So he occupies everything here. Yeah. One, two, three, four with the... And he can re-roll one defense dice because it's uh, it's in a forest. Yeah. And then Ow. all of these will attack you. My flying demons, yeah. So roll them. So Michael's got three and one, four, five. It's five and five. You're right. Yeah. Ow. Two uh, two kills. It's good three. to be immortal. Yeah. So they're immortal. But they won't be able. So you lose another two. Uh, For now, yes. Uh, are they immortal? No, they're not immortal. No, they they're were immortal. disrupted. So you haven't lost anything for them? No. Okay. Uh, I could follow up if I wanted. Uh -huh. You could. Or this might be a time to, to save a couple of activation banners for a round where we maybe have less. Uh, there's nothing really I can do. Uh, I could fly up in the air, you but could. that if I did that, that would help you reach me. You can't. Why? You've already activated it in this space and you don't have a replay. Yes, but if I move, if I follow up, then I go oh, yes. here. Then you could, yes, sorry. This is, this is what I'm trying to decide. Do I want to stop here or do I want to stop in the air? If I want to stop in the air, I will follow up here mm -hmm. and then activate to go up. But yeah. if I go up in the air, then you can do that and reach me and attack me. Yes. So for now? Really wishing I had some fire still. Uh, do I have any victory points yet? No. No. Well, technically four because my morals are out at the moment. Yeah, well, but this is just morale. Yeah. Victory points, you, the you, death. you yeah. the death are here, right? Yeah. Yes. So, I, so I, I have no have death two. for now. Okay, uh, I will stop here. I will okay. stop there and I will save these two banners for, okay. for later. Okay, so I can clear all the, the banners. Yeah, uh, one more here. Yeah. Right, what do I want to do? Let's see. So I'm going to activate the beast first. And now I have the option, I either get him to f start shooting. Or you can fly and shoot from the air. Uh, then it's costing me two. Yes. So I think what's going to happen is, from where he is, he's spinning around, and he's going to range attack here. Oh, you don't have the range, do you? Range two. Oh, yeah. So two hexes, yeah, not spaces. So that'll be two red dots. But by. you don't move? That means... Not yet. Oh, but you can reactivate him, of course. Yes. yes. So two red dice into the angel and the knights. Yep. Oh, death and a push. You have three black dice to reply with. Which should be enough. Hopefully. I don't have an, a re-roll. You still have yours. Uh, no, I used Oh, mine. no, you used it. Uh, two, two shield. Well, enough. I have one. Yep, you've got two shields, so death goes and push goes. Hmm. Unfortunate. I will use my replay now. So. Are you going to move? He's going to fly. Oh, in the air. So this remains here. Yes, so he's flown up to here, and while he's up here, I will spend two to do a ranged attack down into your angels. So for three, red die. Chances of doing damage are quite low on this, but if I don't roll the dice, I'll never get the result. Ooh, good oh, roll. that's good roll. You know what you could have done? You could have done a, a gigantic attack also. Uh, do I not need to be moving in to do the gigantic attack? Oh. 
So I can't go no, up no, in the no, air no, and come right, down in one no, go. No, no, no. You're so right. this, this is what I'm thinking. I'm going up now, and if you're still there next round, then, then I'll you do can the, do the yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's, it's if why you I move kept my replay yeah, yeah. for the ground. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so uh, I got to send. Uh, okay, to to roll my my defense. Mm -hmm. So it's two white and a black for uh, Michael, uh -huh. and two black each for my angels. Yeah, super tough unit. Yeah. Doctor One, two, laughing. three, three shields. Absolutely laughing, but worth the try. Nice. Yes. I have two left, and I could buy a reactivation. Is it worth me moving towards you? It's really not, so I'm just going to save my own banners here. Just like me. Exactly. Now I have to roll for my casualties. So, plague bearers. Yep. They stay. Flying demons will stay. Other flying demons will be delayed. But they are coming back. Yes. Eventually, if that griffin moves. Uh, so, tidy up for me. Okay, end of the round. Uh, and I forgot. Yeah, we need to. Oh, to fire damage. The yes. fire damage, yes. Okay, do that very quickly. Huh. Yes, damage. So, <laughs> does it go away? It goes away, but the fire remains. <laughs> the fire is eternal. <laughs> Okay, uh, so let's get a look and see how many activations we get this time. Five. Another big one. <laughs> Ooh, I. One, two, three, four, five. And the two that we both held from last round. Again, that's kind of a reason I held back to as well as because I knew you had. Yes, yes. It will allow me to do many, many things. Mm -hmm. And the new war council. And same for you. So... We have but we're so far away, look yep. at that. Some trading for uh, legend tokens. So two for a regular or three for the others. We then have, oh, gain three, work on, three cards, discard one. Or lastly, gain an additional order. Ooh, interesting choices this time. And I assume we can only use these once. No, no, we can have we can choose the same card. No, 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 but we can't use it multiple times. I couldn't say, oh, I just want to spend like. No, 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 just once. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. If you want to spend the uh, like, yeah, yeah, only once. Yeah. Uh, I, you know, I'll choose the the three legend cards, and drop discard one. one. Discard okay. one. Okay. So I'll I have two. Yeah. I think what I really, really need right now, because we're so far away. I think I'm going to take the additional order to give myself eight. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Got to go back eight. or go home. So, right now you have destroyed more than I have. You have scored more victory points than I have. Yes. But if I prevent you from rallying, uh, then I'm fine. The problem is, is if I leave here, you could you could do the, me the same. You could yeah. just stay there. It would be mean. Yeah. So I think I need to, s to leave some forces over there yeah. and try to attack. I think that's the best thing I can do. One, two, three, four, five. Go for it. I will regroup my forces, uh, stay here, not try to, 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 to get you. How, how, how many points are these worth, uh, please? One, two, three, four. Yes, but uh, victory points. Oh, uh, so currently the flying demons are worth 205, so they're 405 apiece, or 405 total. And the other guys are 115, so that's 625 currently off the board. So that's more than, yes. than what I have. So if, yes. if I. You just have to keep them off the board. Yes. If I don't get any more casualties and I uh -huh. prevent you from rallying, then I will win. So this is what I'll focus on. So I will. Move these ones here. Uh huh. Move them here. Uh huh. They both have, you know, my flagellants and my penitents. Both have the tough ability, which ah. means even when you kill them, you yeah. destroy them. I roll a white dice, and if I get a shield, one chance out of two. They're not dead. They're yeah. not dead. Interesting. They're very, uh, very, very resistant. So they will all move here with the bone setter, uh -huh. which is very useful for me. Uh huh. Uh, they will go here. Uh -huh. 
then there's no tricky thing you could do now. No, 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 no nasty tricky thing. Then uh, uh, Michael and the two angels will fly up. Uh-huh. Uh, where should they go? Um, they should go here uh -huh. because that allows me, if I want ha to have the, the griffin with them, uh -huh. I, ca I can later. Yep, and you, you can nab an attack. So I will turn her uh, him so that he faces. Mm -hmm. And this is frightening, so... Yes, well, thankfully, terror too. So I will then attack with my angels. Okay. You will roll your terror. Yeah, let's see if I can make it. It's been saving my butt a lot. Two don't attack. Who's that? So Michael and one angel don't attack. That's terrible. <laughs> so one red, red and two, two white. yellow. Two white. Or two white, yeah. And I auto block two. So nothing. nothing. So that's tough. terrible. Tough, but tough, tough. then I will move these guys uh -huh. here and occupy this hex. Okay. Uh, uh, I think, uh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, anything to play? Too late. <laughs> okay. Oh, once per turn, if I discard one, uh, I could gain one uh, extra activation, but I don't need, I don't think it can do. Yeah, okay, I'm done. Oh. oh <laughs> You're oh, thinking oh, oh, oh. of something nasty. I don't like this laugh. <laughs> um, I need to do a little math really quick. So I was reading the beast ability. And you know the way I can buy replays? It doesn't say once per turn or once per round. It just says at any time I may spend that. So I could buy two in a round or in a turn. Yeah. So what I'm going to do, if I do my math right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, attack, eight, nine, to here. Ah, I think I'm coming one short because I have eight here. <laughs> if I just have the skeletons attacking, they're on three yellow dice. What's the defense of these guys? Uh, they have no defense at all. Really? Yes, no but they are, they, they are tough, which means if, if, if you kill them, mm -hmm. they can come back. But I'll still have them off the board. No, 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 no. If I roll, they, ah, they stay. I see. That um, they are very resistant. This is why I put them here. Yeah. So I'll tell you what I'll do. So you, one, I'll, two, three, four, five, six, right? Uh, well, I have to activate here. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven for the attack. And I only have eight, which means the beast wouldn't activate. So ooh, what I think I need to do, I really need to start laying in some damage to you. So I think what I'm going to do is I am going to do this. So one, everybody's going to come along. Four, five, and she's the sixth, which is a problem. But she does activate, so I do get her point now. So I'll just grab one of these to mark that I have it. I then need to either leave her behind or leave someone else behind. And I think right now I want offensive power. So I'll then activate here. Yes. And leave her behind. So she's going to lose her yep, base. Allegiance. Yeah. So if you want to go ahead and take her base off, everybody else is moving. Then our next, everybody's going to move through to here. Then our next is here. And here, and yes, so they all end up here. So I'll recount this out just to make sure I've done it right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, that actually worked out better than I thought. The seventh will be an attack then. That's what I counted. Yeah, I was counting a longer way than you did. So attack-wise then, I have four bases skeletons, so that's five yellow dice because of their ability. 
I then have a white dice for my plague bearers, and then a red dice for my vicious demons. <laughs> all voracious going in, demons. Voracious demons, all going into here, where you have no defense. So I have a good, good chance of doing some damage. <laughs> yes. Uh, one kill. kill, one disrupt, and three push. Yeah. So that means one kill, one disrupt, and one push. Yes. So I get to choose who's killed. Uh huh. One disrupt and one push. Mm -hmm. Yeah, losing that uh, NPC is really, really a tough choice right now. So, and also, mm -hmm. uh, if, if I get killed, mm -hmm. if one of my penitents or flagellants are killed, uh -huh. I have one chance out of two to, for them to stay yeah. and prevent you from uh, following up. Yeah. Which would be good. So I have to choose one of them. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I want to keep the penitence ability so uh, it will be the flagellants. So these ones mm -hmm. will be killed. So we'll see they're killed, except if they roll for white dice. Uh -huh. uh, then then, then there's, there's one disrupt. Is that correct? Yes, one disrupt. And then one push. push. Yeah. I think the bone setter will be... The bone setter will be... Uh, Pushed uh -huh. and uh, disruption on these, then yes, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. C can I do I get to know whether uh, no, no, okay, they, they, she will be disrupted and and, and the, the they okay. will be pushed. And if she's disrupted, do you lose her ability? Yeah, yes, I do. Mm. Risky, okay, so she's disrupted and uh, they're disrupted. No, they, they're killed, they're, they're pushed. Oh, right, yeah, they're pushed. Ah, but I get to push them. Yeah, yes, you get to push them. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, in all honesty, I don't want to make things easier for you, so I'll push you out to here. Yeah. And then we roll the white dice for the last unit, yes? Yes, uh, black dice. So on a shield? No. The dead. So completely dead? Yes. Excellent. So... Now you can follow up. Uh -huh. And they're worth another point. Yes. Uh, so I will indeed follow up. And we'll attack the griffin with another order. So, order to attack the griffin. Oh, you know what? Something I forgot with the griffin. Uh -huh. He's got slayer. Okay. Which means for multiple uh, point guy, mm -hmm. like the right. first yep. damage he does is two points instead ah. of one. Well, we'll that's something. For Same for... Uh, uh, Michael, but I don't think Michael ever attacked a multi... No, he got to attack once. <laughs> Alright, so it's five yellow, one red, one white again, on the griffin. Okay. Does he have retaliation or anything? No, he doesn't. Awesome. Yep. Oh, that's good. So those are no good, but I get a kill and a push that you have to deal with. Yeah. Okay, I roll two white dice. Let's see. One shield, so I assume the kill. Yep, the kill. And take the push. Take the push. You I can't, can't be push. So I get one wound. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Yep. Uh, I'm going to spend two points for a replay. And I will replay. How, in here how, do, to how do you do that? With Beast's ability, just as at any time. Two, two, uh, two tokens, right? Two legend tokens. Yep. Buy you a. Uh, a replay. Okay. And it's at any time, so it doesn't have to be when he's activating, which okay. is fabulous. So, second verse. Do that again. Same as the first. Uh, clear the tray for me. Yes. Not very good. Two pushes. But two pushes. Okay, let's see. Uh, one shield, so one push, one wound. One damage. And he only has four, yes? Yes, so he's back to two. Excellent. See, by damaging you there, I might be able to force you out of there just because you're now taking damage. Yes. Uh, I have one order left. I have nowhere really to use it, so I'm just going to save it. <laughs> like so. It's getting tense. <laughs> Ooh, actually, oh, okay. Before yeah. the end of my turn, yeah. I'm going to buy a replay with two of these. Ah, but I need two for the beast, so I will not. I will save those. Uh, I will tidy up here. I'm, I'm lucky you didn't have such good rolls on my griffin, but uh, yeah. I'm down to two hit points, so I can't stay very long. Yeah. Well, you do get to go first, but yeah. before that, time to do some rolling here. 
So, so this can't rally, so he stays there. Yeah. Then I'll roll for my plague bearers. They rally, so they move forward. Uh, for my winged demons, thankfully they're immortal, but they will rally. So if I can clear it out, all of my stuff's going to come back. And let's see what happens with my bone setter. Uh huh. Dead. <laughs> Ooh. Unfortunate. Okay. NPC's well, dying. Yep. She dies, so I won't be able to use her very useful uh, ability, but well, I've used it. I've I, ha used I have it. to get rid of some of your stuff for you to have had to use it, but yeah. All right, uh, how many activations this round? Four. Four. And I'm on five because I saved one. So this is excellent. One, two, three, four, and that becomes a fifth. And I do like the fact that you're kind of limited to how many you can hold, that you can hold yeah. up to three of each per yeah. round. It's yeah. a nice little yeah. bank you can build up on. Uh, new War Council. So these go away. And we get one with a lot of text, which I'll read in a second. One which gains us two legend cards, a legend, and discard one. And the last one is we can trade a regular order for a charge order. All right, the card with all the text. Uh, so you can look for a War Council card of your choice and resolve it, then reshuffle the deck, or retrieve your reroll token if it is not in your possession. Oh, that's quite tasty. So look for any War Council cards you want. Yes. Uh, so you can look for any one you want, and it triggers. So you do just get a free use of it. For instance, a re reactivate. Yeah. Which could be useful. Uh huh. Or. Or regain your reroll token. <laughs> is it the last turn? No, we have one last turn. We is have one more after this. One more after. So there this. is time. Mm -hmm. I think I will. Uh, I will choose one of the abilities. So I hope that there is something interesting here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'll All take right. The, the replay. Getting a replay. Yeah. Good idea. And I reshuffle. Yeah. Mm. What do you do? Just saying, so what kind of things are in the War Council deck that could be useful to me at this point? You could uh, heal one wound. Uh -huh. You could get uh, an interruption or reactivation or charge. Well, mm -hmm. you don't need charge, but interrupt or reactivation. Yeah. Uh, you could destroy one of my uh, activation banners, but only the normal ones. Uh -huh. uh, you could get some uh, some cards like uh, mm -hmm. new new legend cards mm -hmm. and and a token i think that's the that's the or i could gain an additional 3 of the the legend yeah. counters yes. yeah which would let me actually buy two reactivations this round which could be useful mm -hmm. uh, hmm. in all honesty what i think's most useful is i'm going to grab my reroll token back <laughs> yeah just in that's case something goes horribly wrong it gives me that little bit of a safety buffer. That's that's good. All right, uh, your activation then, sir. Okay, tough choice. Do I want to stay and hold uh, your rally point, or is it a lost? Uh... Uh, if you think you can get the Griffin to hang on for one more round, and my guys are held off the board. How many reactivation can you buy? Can you buy any reactivation? I can buy one. How, mu how much does it cost you? To me. And you have two? Yep, I have two. Okay, so you could attack the griffin twice. Yes, I could. Uh, technically three times because I could have my the beast attack it from ranged as well. Although it actually it would only be one red die, which would be kind of poo. They don't have much defense, do they? Uh, no, okay. no. the The skeletons have no defense. Plague bearers have no defense. Uh, the voracious demons have two white, but on a blank face on that, you will take a kill result. <laughs> That's kind of why I threw those in there. You know, it's just that you may look at it and go, oh, there's no defense there. It's only two white dice. <laughs> Death. Okay. At the start of my turn, if I spend two, so I'm using with this card, at the start, uh -huh. inspiration. At the start of my turn, I get one additional order of my choice. I, uh -huh. spend, I need to spend two. Yeah. So I do that. Uh -huh. What's the order of your choice? I will get another reactivation. Ah, interesting. So, Look what I'm going to do. You have no interrupt, right? No, no, no interrupt. So I will move my griffin. 
Uh huh. Up in the air. Oh, going to the sky. Yes, going to okay. the sky. Oh, I see what you're gonna do. You sneaky, sneaky man. <laughs> I see exactly what well, you're going to do. Well, the griffin can't go back. No, but, but the rest of it can. Some of them can. <laughs> you know, well, I'm going to attack and then I will reactivate and attack and some of them will go down and yeah. just take this spot. Yeah, even just one angel. Even one angel or even maybe Michael, you know, he I can't do, attack I... you and you always <laughs> target him with the terror. So of course. if he can't attack, at least he can defend. Uh, and he has retaliation that you're And he has retaliation, so he will be good at that. Mm -hmm. So, of course, uh, that means I can't tactic. spend any uh, any of my uh, legend tokens to, to give and you more damage. He has six but defense, he's got but or six health as well. Yes, yes. He is tough. So, next thing, I will uh -huh. order the attack. Order the attack. Okay. <laughs> terror. This is I'd where see. my terror fails me. I'm not so scary, and I am just sitting there whimpering in the sky. Ah, oh, no terror! I called it. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, come on. You really think we're going to let Michael get his full dig in? No! Oh. Okay, so Michael is not still not attacking. Ah, no, would you have had to declare who was attacking and who wasn't before declaring who was going to move? Oh, but you have your replay. Yeah, everybody was attacking. That. Oh, well, uh, so it's Griffin and Angels. Yeah. Michael's being a true commander, just hanging back, going, no, 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 go attack them, go attack them. I'm, I'm too important for all of this. Yes. <laughs> okay, so I will first roll the griffin. Uh -huh. uh, I will re-roll his black dice because... What, what Are you was sure that? it was a disrupt? Oh, it was a disrupt. No, no, no. Uh, I will... Uh, I won't re-roll anything. Okay. And then the angels, four white, two red. Your beast has been very lucky so far. Yeah. Oh, ooh, less lucky now. I'm going to be taking three damage and getting pushed. Yes. So, anti toi. Ow. Well, do you want to be pushed or do you want to take this damage? Because if you're pushed, I can follow up and then attack you with a normal order. Oh, to one, two, three, you four, So I'm telling you five, up front. Six, no. seven. Eight of 14, I have six left. I'm gonna hold my ground and take the extra damage. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have five damage left. Because you see, otherwise, th that would be two more attacked on you. Yeah. And I think you made the right decision because yeah, that would mean uh, uh, if you miss, that again. yeah, and if you miss a terror, then uh, Michael will attack and I could finish you off. Yeah. So thankfully you don't have what you need. Actually, is it a card you're discarding? To, yeah, you can discard a card, isn't it, to gain an extra red, or is it a token? Uh, it's a it's another activation. No, no, no. Uh, Michael's second ability is it the the legend token? It's just token? token to get one. Per, I okay. don't have any more. That's fine. So that's fine. That's how it is. I have five health left. Five left? Five left. Okay. So now I will replay these guys here. Yes. But and I have to decide who will go down. And I think Michael <laughs> will go down and hold your uh, rally point. <laughs> go right ahead. Descending from the heavens. The man, the myth, the legend, Michael. <laughs> All right, two terror dice. Yes. Oh. oh. <laughs> no terror, but Michael is not here. <laughs> yes. So that will be the same attack. So yeah. if so I'm lucky, start, I could just... I'll take about three damage, maybe four. So let's see with the griffin first. Uh-huh. Uh, not as good. Uh-huh. I could re-roll... Uh, um, yeah, if you uh, want it. No, I could re-roll, yes, uh, a dice. If you want. You've already got a push there. No, I, w I won't because I have, I have okay. good results anyway. So. Okay. So that's one uh, disrupt and two push. Uh -huh. And now my two angels. Yep, uh, four and two. Two red, four white. Yes. Is that correct? Yes. Bring on the pin. Mm. That's some pin. So a total. Oh, wow, look at that. Oof. That's a total of how many disrupt? 
One, two, three, four, five. Five. So we take away two. I take three. Yeah. So I will take an additional three damage, leaving me And then you could health. be push, except if you want to take this. So currently I'm on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And if I hold my ground, you can't attack me again. No. So I will take the extra point of damage and be sitting on one. Otherwise, I could. Exactly. I could follow up and then attack you again. And I actually have... get a replay on that to have two more attacks, which would be very silly of me. However, you still could use that replay to attack in here. That's <laughs> exactly feeling, what I'm going to do. If you're do. feeling ballsy with Michael. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Uh, uh, you have. Plague yeah, well, yes. well, I, there's the risk of me uh, getting getting some kills with your voracious demons. Yeah, and I've got the plague bearers there to ignore. Yeah, one yeah. Disrupt. but I still want to. Oh, you're gonna go for it? He's going for it, folks. Yes. Uh, let's see if I can do that now. Oh no no no! Hold up, Sherry. <laughs> terror two. Who's got terror two? Plague bearers. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> No, ah! no, he gets, he gets in there. Yes, okay, this time. <sighs> Michael will attack. <laughs> <laughs> okay, three red, uh, one white. white. Yeah. I've got Slayer that we yep. never used. Uh, Slayer, that's it, okay, three. Uh -huh. And I can't spend any, any tokens, so that's only... Ooh. Oh! Two kills and two disrupts. Okay, so I ignore one disrupt. Okay. Automatically. And I get two white dice to defend. Blanks are kills on you. Uh, and then I'm hoping for shields as well. Uh, so I get... One shield. One shield. So one so of the kills doesn't happen. So you have one kill and one disrupt. Yeah. I would drop one white dice if I drop a skeleton. I would drop one white dice. What's weaker, white or yellow? For what? For attack or defense? For attack. Oh, uh, I think uh, yellow is better. Uh, let's see. Uh, you have one chance. You you have two disrupt and one push on the on a white, and on the yellow you have two push and one disrupt. So the white is better in attack. Yes. Yeah, so I'll let a skeleton disrupt or actually die, but he's immortal. So he doesn't die, he just goes to here. Uh, he does, however, cost me an additional point. Oh, you got one kill and one disrupt, right? Uh, yes, someone gets disrupted as well. I think that'll be another skeleton. Okay, so another vic an, a morale point is lost. Uh, yes. So I've lost six morale so far. Because I can't get my guys back on the board. <laughs> and I've lost three, <laughs> right? Yes. Uh, is that you, funsies dunsies? Everything on the board happy enough? Oh, well, let's see. Um, I could attack with my penitent. It's not very effective. I would roll a white dice. Mm -hmm. And I would get to roll two white back and possibly kill him. Yes. Or I could also move my angel, but... You and you could have that angel on its own. Attack the beast and possibly murder him. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Got the two orders for it. Yes, but uh, on his own, he won't be able to. He will roll three dice. Yeah, but I have one health left. I would need only one. It could go through. Okay. Go for it. I'll go for it. You're right. <laughs> no guts. Maybe, no maybe, glory. yes. Okay, so he'll go. He'll and fly, fly up here. Yep. And then <laughs> one single little angel against the huge ah! beast. Okay. So, it's one red and uh -huh. two white. Yeah. If I do three damage, or even a push, because you can't leave, a yep. push becomes a disrupt. Yep, and I can't move. Okay, so Come I need on. to get... <laughs> All right, let's see. Oh, yes! God. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> what an epic finale. <laughs> Look. The one angel from the ground. No, I'm tired, Garden. I can have you. I can have you totally. So three disrupts. Oh my God! Yeah, so, so I cancel two, and you get I the last it, one, and I get knocked off into here. And so yeah, 
<laughs> no, 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 no. You, you're dead. You, you're out. You're here. Completely. You're here. I, yes, yes. All right. I thought, oh, no, no, no. You're right. You're right. You're yeah, right. disrupted. Right. So disrupted. Yes, I need to make room for it. Yes. So it's, He's disrupted. <laughs> yeah, so end of this round, I have to roll for him. So I tell you what, Leo, I'm just going to roll for him and see if he dies. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, for all of them or just him? Just for him, because if, if he goes, it's game over. Because um, you lose 10 uh, morale points. Uh, yeah. You, how many left do you have? Nine? Nine. So, yes, so it, it would be it's an auto-lose. Yeah. So, I mean, like, I mean, like, I could do some attacking in here. Uh, would it make a difference? Because I, even then, I have, yeah, I have to clear out Michael first. Yes. Otherwise, I can't return. So what I need to do first is just pour as much attacking as I can. So uh, start my go. I'm going to buy well, a replay. So do I, do I yes, clear? Yes, yes, yes. Tidy your stuff away. So I'm going to buy myself a replay for two tokens at the start because I need to attack Michael twice. Oh, my, oh, my. OK, so skeletons are generating three. The, the, the angels are really powerful. <laughs> yeah. Even not only Michael. But okay. So I get okay. this attack twice to hopefully get Michael. Um, so I do two. Disrupt. If you like roll his defense. He's oh. got retaliation. Oh, God. He's got retaliation. Uh, and two both. shields. All right. I can do nothing. I can't return to the battlefield. Game. <laughs> that one angel. Yes. Just I one always angel. love when that happens in a game when you just have that one guy going, no, no, I'm tired of guarding. I'm, I'm ready to fight. Let's go. <laughs> well played, Leo. Uh, getting Michael on there was a crucial move. I think so. I think so. Uh, but, you know, things could have been a little different uh, and uh, what I like is there was a lot of movement again you yeah. see everybody moved yeah, everywhere we, we were shimmying back and yes forth and the there was thing. like this uh, uh, sky battle uh, that was very epic and exciting and then mm -hmm. you you also had things happening on the ground uh, uh, what yeah. what did you think uh, I, I really enjoyed it I mean like about two turns ago I thought I had it and then suddenly some of my stuff started to get locked out and then you locked out my ability to get them back on the board so even having a mortal didn't help you know so it's just really really good nice tight crunchy game too and just an epic finish everybody tell you what get your comments in below tell us what you thought of that one myself and Leo will move on we'll see you again soon we hope you enjoyed this let's play go ahead and check out our other content on screen now and while you're at it why not hit subscribe and remember to ding our dong go on you know you want to click it go on